Our next guest was here right before the pandemic hit. In less than a year, she's managed to go viral once again with her almost perfect floor routine. Take a look. Yes, indeed. Please welcome back to UCLA gymnast Nia Dennis. Oh. Hi, Ellen. Hi, Nia. It's so good to be back. It's fun. It's it's fun to have you back. You know what? I wish you could be here though to do another floor routine. Yeah. You were one of the last guests that we had here in the studio before we had to shut down. I know that's so crazy. Thank you. It's such an honor to be on the show one time, let alone two times. So. Thank you so much for having me back. I'm so excited. It is our pleasure. I love that routine. Tell everybody about the routine and why it was so important. Uh, so this routine, I believe, is a reflection of everything that I am as a woman today. And I picked a lot of really influential artists, Black artists that had a huge impact in the Black community. For starters, Kendrick Lamar, you know, he's a huge activist in his music. And we're not allowed to use words and sounds in our floor routine, so I figured if I wasn't gonna be able to say it, say it I wanted to, break, to do it in a different way and shine light on gymnastics. <laughs> it was so good, I thought it was brilliant. And so it's been seen 21 million times uh, and you got a tweet from Michelle Obama. That is so insane, oh my gosh, Michelle Obama. First of all, I love you, I was speechless. <laughs> um, I found out actually in the middle of practice, literally all my teammates came over to me and we were all just cheering and so excited. And not only did she tweet me, she actually posted the entire video. So that means she has to have it like in her camera roll or something and just let's watch it for her free time, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, love her. <laughs> love her too. Um, and this is your first performance since last season because you just did uh, recover from uh, shoulder surgery, right? Yes, so actually last year I was competing every weekend with the torn bicep, torn labrum, um, arthritis, um, my bone chipped off. So, you know, it was really bad and I really took this time to heal and recover and I was working so hard every single day over quarantine. I was in therapy every single day. I was training, finding anywhere I could work out, stairs, a park, you know, doing everything I possibly could to stay in shape so that by the time season started, I would be ready. And, you know, my biggest goal was to never give up and, I, and that's what I did, so. You did not give up, you did not give up. Um, it must be really hard to have meets when you're socially distant. Yeah, it's very difficult. Um, as you know, UCLA Gymnastics are typically sold out events and we love the fans, we love the audience. We feed off the crowd, we love to play with the crowd. And so we had cutouts of some alumni and super famous people that were in the stands with us. So it was really like we weren't alone whatsoever. Very cool, very cool. What's next after graduation for you? Um, there's so many opportunities and so many possibilities. I have a lot of thinking to do, but something I'm super interested in is stunt doubling and dancing. Dancing, I love to dance. Uh, Twitch, if you're in here, you can hear me. <laughs> can we have a dance session once? <laughs> I can teach, I got you, I got routines for you. Just teach me how to flip. We can just do okay, an exchange, okay, I got you. Yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah, we can work it out. <laughs> okay, I can't wait to see that. Um, well, we are so proud of you and we know we can't be at your competitions in person, so we made these for you. Yep, so we, oh we can, uh, we'll send those to wherever you're gonna be. Those will be wherever you are. Oh my goodness, I love it, thank you so much. All right, Nia, so good talking to you. Uh, look forward to having you back in the studio when we can.